Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. <sighs> Two slots. <sighs> That's so insulting.
So this is the Netherworld's Fate Awakening Crystal. Yes. If we destroy it... Sister, this is Jubil. Please come in. We have discovered the enemy's Fate Awakening Crystal. This is Mariel. Understood. You must destroy the crystal at once. Understood, sister. We will now proceed to destroy the crystal. Now then, Sir Shin, let us destroy the crystal. Huh. Ariel? Hey, Jupi, is that really the Fate Awakening Crystal? Yes. If we destroy it, the devils will no longer be able to create vile gods. Did they fail to cultivate it properly? For some reason, I get the feeling that it doesn't have quite enough luster. Testing, testing. Can you hear me, idiots of Celestia and their foolish god? That voice. Is it Phyllis? Oh, don't bother looking for me. You won't find me there. Phyllis is not stupid enough to actually greet you in that kind of place. So, how is it? Did you get a good look at the replica of Fate Awakening Crystal? Replica? I knew it. It's called a Nitro Parolaris. It's a crystal of condensed magic. If you apply a stimulus, it'll go kaboom! Since you took such great care of me last time, Phyllis decided to give you guys a present. You should be grateful and accept it. It's gonna explode in ten more minutes, so you have some time to sob all you want. Alrighty then, bye-bye forever! Did she say it's gonna explode in a few minutes? If a Peroboros of this size were to explode, not only the laboratory, but the entire area will be blown to smithereens. Let's... we gotta hurry up and run! Regarding you two, if you and Juby were to create a defensive barrier with your combined power, you might be able to withstand it. What about the other invading angels, like Mario? This is Jupiel. Sister, please activate a defensive barrier at once. This is a trap! This is Mario. I heard the announcement. We shall create defensive barriers at maximum strength. Jupiel, you must make sure to survive. Yes, as must you. People around Mario's area might be alright, but... There's no guarantee that the other groups would be able to withstand the explosion. Damn it! I've gotta go save the others! That's impossible. There's no time. You should prioritize your own survival for now. This isn't the same as the situation at the prison camp. But that's... Jupiel, hold on to me. What do you intend to do? We're going to escape. If we ignore the path and break through the walls, we should be able to escape in no time. Escape by breaking through the walls? That is far too rash. Though it's a pretty crazy idea, he just might be able to escape before it explodes. It would be much safer than defending yourselves there. Is there any possibility that we would be detected by Phantasma? No, it won't detect you if you're leaving. It's designed to annihilate intruders, so it won't activate while you're getting out. Got it. Thanks for letting me know. 
However, I cannot leave my sister and the others. What are you doing? There's no time for that! If you're going to try to escape, you've got to do it now! Hurry! Jupiel! No! Please wait! We have not yet... Jupiel! What's happening? Uh, I... I... I don't know... My chest... Started hurting all of a sudden... Hey, Jupi... What's happening? <coughs> <coughs> Ariel! Ariel! What's happening? Crap! The explosion! So, you're awake. Ariel! Ah, ow. From what I remember, I got caught in the explosion. Sir Shin, have you awakened? What a relief, you're safe. Yes. It is all thanks to you for shielding me. I'm glad it wasn't that big of a deal. I'm... Ah! Don't move. Your injuries are so severe, the medical system can't even treat you properly. But not only that, it's a mystery why you're still alive. Your limbs were about to fall off. Your whole body was charred practically to ash. What the heck? Wouldn't I normally, like, die? Yes. If not for the Fate Awakening Crystal, you surely would have died. That was a tremendous explosion. You should do nothing but rest for the time being. However, I don't care if you carelessly move around and lose an arm or leg. What about the others? My sister is safe. However, the majority of the angels could not withstand the explosion. Did they die? The blast was big enough to obliterate the lab, including all the towns in the surrounding area. For Mariel to endure that is quite terrifying. Wait a minute. What do you mean, all the towns in the surrounding area? It appears there was a town of civilians who lived close to the Oimacom laboratory. They probably did not notice, because they have been without electricity since the Ami magic refinery was destroyed. Only women and children lived in the village after the draft. It seems 10,000 non-combatants used to live there. Used to? Apparently they were hit by that explosion and were destroyed. It was a hellish scene. People buried, Diseases, the screams of the injured. Without the Ami magic refinery, the military has not intervened in the situation. In fact, they are neglecting them. If, if only I'd stopped that explosion, nothing like that would have ever happened. 
It happened because Phyllis set something like that up without caring about the consequences. It shouldn't weigh on your conscience. First of all, there's no guarantee you could have prevented it if you stayed. After all, the worst outcome would have been if you, God, had died. Um, Sir Shin? Never mind. It is nothing. It's all my fault. By the way, what in the world happened when you two suddenly collapsed? I don't know. You don't know? But you're supposed to know all about the crystal, right? There are some things that even I myself don't know. However, it's definitely related to when you generated power from the crystal. I felt a similar sensation in the past, when you lost control of your power. When was that? When you fought Hian and lost control, it is most definitely related to when you release your power. I'm still in the process of analyzing the data. I can't really say for certain until I can examine all the readouts in detail. What does that mean? Is it possible that you guys are suffering from some kind of side effect whenever I draw out too much power? Hold it right there. Stop making assumptions. You are but an amateur. It is my job to investigate this. Until I've reached my conclusions, you better not worry yourself needlessly or come up with nightmare hypotheses. Got it? For your sake, I'm going back to my work. After all, I need to investigate what kind of phenomenon it was that we experienced. Then while you are doing that, I shall attend to Sir Shin. Thank you very much, Sir Shin. Jubil? Did I wake you? N no, not at all. I just fell asleep without realizing it. By the time I noticed it, I woke up. You have consumed a great deal of energy, so please get some proper rest for now. Where's Ariel? She went to the plaza. She said she needed to get a breath of fresh air. I see. Um, Sir Shin? Do you have a moment? Sure. I do not think your choice of action this time was the correct decision. If examined objectively, it looks like you decided to abandon my big sister and our other allies. It is not praiseworthy. But I wanted to make sure I at least protected you. I never asked you to do that. Sir Shin, if something similar ever happens again, will you continue to abandon everyone else but me? Your course of action was careless and foolish. Please refrain from abandoning all of our allies in the future. I guess I just used that as an excuse. To choose only to save the two of us was really selfish. However, it made me very happy that you sought to try to protect me. Both of us are currently acting quite imprudent. The fact that we are feeling even a little joy for surviving. However, I am sure that you already know. Yeah, I know. I'll save everyone. But anyway, what could have caused them both to suddenly start suffering at the same time? If that happens again, I... Sir Shin? Up until now, the problem has always been with me. So I only had to focus on ways to improve myself. But this time around, I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what I should do. Please calm down. To tell you the truth, I have no knowledge about the crystal. 
so I do not understand what happened. Let us wait until Miss Ariel has finished her analysis. That way, we should be able to discover how to handle it in the future. Yeah, guess we just gotta wait. For now, please do not worry about a thing. Please just focus on healing your body. Yeah, you're right. The Oimakam Laboratory was simply a trap. They predicted precisely what our next target would be. After destroying the Ami Magic Refinery, and set an intricate trap, Phyllis Izayoi basically forced us to dance in the palm of her hand. Like fools. What are you doing, Mario Sora Umi? Do you really think you can protect the Celestia at this rate? Actually let your guard down after such a minor victory. How foolish of you! Oh, Mariel, it's you. What are you doing? To actually punch the wall until your fist bleeds. Have you awakened to the pleasures of mistreating yourself? Of course not. This was my punishment, so that I will never repeat the same mistake again. So, how is Lord Shin doing? He needs absolute rest for the time being. However, there's no need to worry. He'll soon fully recover, thanks to the crystal's power. Understood. He is our ultimate weapon. Make sure he returns to pristine condition. Roger that. Also, don't blame yourself and drive yourself to despair. Are you actually worried about me? How rare. It's not like that. It'll be troublesome if you cause any more noise pollution. I'll be going back to check on Kamikaze. Please do. For something like this.